Imagine arriving at Norwich Station in 2022 and finding that everything you look at instantly takes you back 60 years to 1962. This video will do just that, taking us in a time machine back 60 years. Across the road from the station is the Premier Inn and in 1962 it was still a hotel, at that time the Great Eastern. From Foundry Bridge, the Premier Inn looks like this, maybe replicating the design of the Great Eastern in 1962. Now we continue up Prince of Wales Road to Recorder Road, where the 2022 view from the corner looks like this. Back in time 60 years, and this was the view from that same corner. Into Rose Lane now, and looking back towards Mountergate, the pub then on the corner was the Foundry Bridge Tavern, which closed in 1964. This is Prospect House, which dates from 1969. In 1962, a road called Rising Sun Lane ran through this site, and on its corner with Cattle Market Street was the Golden Ball, a pub that dated from 1760 until around 1966. Here's another pub, The Lamb, and its current entrance from Orford Place, compared to the 1962 view. The Lamb dates from at least 1665 and maybe earlier, and was the scene of a murder in 1797 when the licensee was killed. It was briefly known as the Rat and Parrot and Henry's, but returned to its original name in 2011 when it was reopened by the Lord Mayor. This is the city wall near the St Stephen's roundabout on Queen's Road. The pavement at this point was a narrow street called Bull Lane, which can be seen in the 1962 image. Nearby we have Norwich Bus Station, which was officially opened in 2005, and its predecessor as seen in 1962, having originally opened in 1936, one year after the disappearance of trams from the city. This is Grove Road, with Southwell Road going off to the left, and the Tesco Express on the far corner in this picture had been the site of the Grove Stores 60 years earlier. Back into the city centre now, and into Theatre Street, looking down towards Rampant Horse Street, this road has recently been narrowed, but in 1962 it was even narrower, with traffic lights controlling the flow of traffic in each direction. Into the Haymarket, and what was until the pandemic top shop had been Peter Robinson 60 years ago. Looking in the opposite direction, we see St Peter Mancroft Church, and Starbucks has replaced the Mecca from six decades previously. The Mecca belonged to Lambert's coffee shop, so it probably served a similar purpose to the Starbucks of today. This is White Lion Street, and the shop that was most recently game is seen here in 1962 as Brown's Furniture. Looking from the opposite direction, we see that the shop across the road was Scott & Co, which was described in adverts at the time as a draper. This is the 15th century Guildhall, which has its own Lost Norwich video telling its history. Look the other way and you'll see this building, originally built for the Norfolk Daily Standard newspaper, which in 1962 had become a wimpy bar, with the 3rd Norwich Boys Brigade marching in front of it. This is London Street in 2022. In 1967 it became the first shopping street in the UK to be pedestrianised. So as we travel back to 1962, we see a couple of cars in the photos and pedestrians keeping to the pavements. Charing Cross is much wider than it used to be, so the entrance to the Norwich Free Library was in fact close to the middle of the current road. These buildings on Palace Street currently provide conference facilities, but in 1962 were shops, uh, originally dating from the 16th century with later alterations. These shops sit on the junction of St Augustine's and Aylsham Road, and 60 years ago the site was occupied by the swimming pool. 
and I still remember the words of the instructor trying to teach me to swim. Heels in the scum trough, fall on the water. Fat chance of that. This is the current view of the bottom of Ketts Hill and looking across the road we see a grassy parkland area which in 1962 contained prefabs. 350 of these were built in Norwich at the end of the Second World War and designed to last for 10 years. As we return to the station I hope you've enjoyed this journey back in time to 1962 and if you have please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.